What is up guys, this is a big one. The next Coolify service is finally Superbase. Superbase is your open source Firebase alternative. So what does that mean? It's a service that comes with a database, authentication, storage, as well as even functions. I'm gonna show you how to self-host it. And once we've self-hosted it, you will get your platform that looks like this. So let's get right into it. We're gonna go into Coolify and in the projects tab, hit the add button. I'm going to call it Superbase. Select the production environment. Click on add a new resource. And then search for Superbase. Now I'm going to select my second server here. I've got two because this is the server where Coolify is not running on. That way, if anything would happen to my app, it would not crash Coolify. So I'm going to select my second server. And now we are pretty much done. So right out of the box, you get a ton of services, as you can see here. And we've also got some credentials that we're going to need to use later. So let's go ahead and hit deploy. But actually, before I do that, I just want to let you know that you can change the URL where it's self-hosted on. I'm going to leave it as is, but you can change it to shorten it if you prefer. You could put it like db.selfhost everything in my case. I could do that. But it's completely up to you. So I'm not going to be changing it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit deploy. So after waiting a couple of minutes, we've got a bunch of containers that have started. Some are already healthy. So let's go ahead and close this window and see what we have. So I'm just going to click on refresh to see which services are green. I'm just going to hit a hard refresh here. So it's almost ready. You can see some are still not green, so we're just going to wait a couple more minutes. So there we go. All of our services have been deployed and they are green. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my URL without the port and open it up in a new tab. So now we are prompted for a username and password. So which one do you use? It's this one, the first one. So I'm just going to copy the username here and then copy the password there and hit sign in. And once you've done that, you have successfully self-hosted Superbase. And so where do you go from there? So if you've used Superbase before, you probably already know what to do. But if you don't, there's a bunch of links here that you can use to get familiar with the documentation on how to use their SDK and which SDK to use as well. So for example, you could choose the JavaScript here and then click on the link. And that will give you instructions on how to install it in your code base and then connect to your client as well. So I'm not going to go through that because that is a subject for perhaps another video. But if you are interested in having some sort of a boilerplate for a project that you are use that you want to use Superbase for and you want to self host Superbase as well, feel free to contact me at selfhosteverything at gmail.com and I'll try to accommodate you. But uh, for the purpose of this video, this is going to be it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.